uh, Keith, good session today. It's good to see you at the golf ball as well as you were and as obviously consistently as you were by the end of the session. As we say, what we're trying to do is get the club face direction, i.e. where the club's pointing, and the direction in which the club swings from to be a bit more matched up in the hitting area. What you had at the start was the path of the club coming too far from the inside and the club face now getting a little bit closed, resulting in sort of hook shots off to the left or sort of straight shots blocked out to the right there. We can see here now the reason why this is coming in in the left-hand image. That club starts going back there. Your club now sort of halfway back. What we're looking for with the club to be sort of over the toe line, parallel to where your body is aiming. We can see in this case that club's got a little bit sort of stuck behind you. And because of that now, as the club then comes back to the golf ball in the hitting area, the club, as you felt you said yourself, was stuck. You're trapped. You can't get the club back out their own way. As a result of that, obviously, just flick your hands at it. And that caused the ball to get that sort of pulley, hooky one off to the left. What we're looking for, that sort of halfway back position, if we look at the right-hand one now, club going back more with the turn of the body. You can see now, so just halfway back there, the shaft and your toe line are certainly now more matched up to where they need to be. The club hasn't got too far inside. We can now start swinging the goal club a little bit more directly to target as we come through from a little bit across the line, as we said, but the club now tracking back down on a similar line, nicely back in front of it, a lot more room. You see that club now coming to the hitting area, nicely down the target line, ball flying to target, and able to rotate the body through up onto that left side. So what we're trying to do, as I said, is just change where that sort of circle is swinging around your body. Previously, it was a bit too far inside and behind you, causing you to bottom out a little bit early, hitting the ground sometimes fat behind the golf ball. Now we've got to try and move that club more in sync with the body. And if we can do that, I say that your bad shot will actually improve. So when you start playing well, that sort of 37 back nine potential is there. And then when you're not quite timing it so well, you're looking more towards all the low 40s rather than that sort of 54 that you mentioned in your last game. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, Keith, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, mate.